Hello there and welcome. This is Mikhail or Michael speaking. As always, I want to say thank you all who decided to support me financially on Patreon, PayPal or through Super Thanks. Also, want to say thank you to all my subscribers because we've recently reached 25,000 subs on this channel. Needlessly to say, without you, this will not be achievable. So thank you all who became part of this journey. Now, today we will start with Bakhmut and work ourselves around the front line and talk about interesting things as well. So first of all, here in Bakhmut, fighting continues. It is reported that Russians have already cleared these sectors, so the nest area and the constructor area. And as of right now, Russians are storming beyond Yuvelena Street in the general direction of the Domino sector. Again, it came to a big surprise that a lot of civilians are still left within the city and Russians are also evacuating them away from the front line. Then we have situation to the north of Bakhmut. Here Russians are continuously attacking all on all these streets in the direction of the hospital. And as you can see, generally there is not much territory of urban terrain that is left for Ukraine. So that means there defensive capabilities would be compromised if Russians push further on. This sector here could be their last stand within this sector because as you can see there are two roads that lead from it. Now that this road is being cleared Ukrainians can safely withdraw. So basically Ukrainians have two withdraw points in this sector. One in this sector right here along these roads and one in this sector near hospital through this road. They can still exit here, but as you can see, it's going to be a long way and they can be spotted by Russian artillery and destroyed. I assume fighting for the hospital would be fierce and I also think that the domino sector will fall before the hospital and this entire area. Then of course we have fighting here in Samolyot sector. Ukrainians are attacking constantly Russian positions. There's a lot of back and forth going on here, mostly because Ukrainians are using this sector to evacuate their troops and their wounded along this highway. As you can see from here, they can drive on this road pretty much safely. So again, they have three good roads to withdraw. And again, for this sector, they will fight hard. Then we have situation in Ivanivsky. It would seem that a Ukrainian counterattack had died down. They are still attacking some places, especially here in the north, near E40 highway, as they are trying to get more footholds, capturing occasional Russian trenches. But there is no more success that happened a few days ago. It would seem that Russians heavily reinforced their flanks and as of right now are able to hold Ukrainian attacks. More than that, Russians have attempted some attacks towards Ivanivsky, but those did not see any success. Now, it is important to say that this field is in elevation and Klishivka is located in the lowlands. So basically, Russians attacking here in attempt to push Ukrainians as far as away from Klishivka is their way of defending it. If the surrounding areas be taken by the Ukrainians, Klishivka would fall. Then we have interesting news of a bridge destroyed here. There is indication that it was a precision strike. If we look at this footage, we can see that this bridge was already damaged, probably by Russian artillery. There are two options why it is being destroyed. One option is to prevent reinforcements coming in and ammunition as well too. Or perhaps it is done in order to make lives of retreating Ukrainian forces more miserable. Now I think we should talk about a situation in Kiev. It has been reported that Russians had launched six hypersonic Kinjal missiles. And there is a video of Patriot system firing at them. The video is interesting in what sense. So as you can see a lot of firing happening, especially here in this moment. And as you can see at some point there is going to be an explosion right here. Here is another footage of that explosion. So that's where the idea of a destroyed Patriot system comes from. 
Of course, pro-Ukrainian sources are denying everything. They're saying that this was a result of an explosion of shut down Russian Kinzhal hypermissile. Who you believe more is your choice, but I decided to share that news with you. Ukrainian sources are claiming that missile fell into a bus depot and apparently no one was killed in that action. Then we move to Avdiivka as interesting news are happening here. First of all, it is reported that Russians have seen some success here to the other side of reservoir and advanced slightly. The map doesn't depict it, but maybe we will see that change in the future. Russians are also attacking here in Severne, however, still without no change. There is an interesting video that happened here near Krasnogorivka. First, I want to show you the video and then explain why I'm sure it's happening here. So you're about to witness both beautiful and horrified scenery of Russians using incendiary rounds to destroy Ukrainian positions. And of course, see, you can see that afterwards, Russians are bombarding those positions with regular artillery. Now, I quickly want to give you info where that's happening. First of all, we see a river-like formation that forms this kind of shape. To me, it kind of looks like a gun. And um, the video suggests that it is north of Avdivka, but doesn't suggest exact location. So, the only place I could find is this one right here, as you can see. A gun-like formation with its barrel looking this way. Also here's the image of a settlement. We can also understand its proportions here and as you can see the one perfectly fits to it is Stepova village here. So the location in question is this one right here. Now that the Battle of Bakhmut is over at the end of the video, I want to show you the price that was paid for that victory. Basically, this is the end of the video. So whoever wants to stay and watch, you're free to do so. But overall, this is it. Thank you all who decided to support me all throughout my journey. I promise you there is more to come. So if you're new here, subscribe. If you're already my subscriber, I salute you. If you like this particular video, please consider supporting it with a like, comment and a subscription. As always, it is important for its promotion and more people will see it. As always, humanity calls me to condemn all violence against human beings. Have a good day and always remember, Russia will be free.